I'm here at the residence where I grew up with my wife, my three daughters, one of them cat, and a fish. I work for a shipping company out in New Jersey, so um, nothing glamorous. I always was a fan of beer. And this whole system I built from the ground up myself. I make beer like different styles that I would like to drink. I've produced close to 20 styles, probably over 20 styles. I want to say I probably built this whole system under $5,000. These tanks are all 55 gallon capacity and they were all reclaimed stainless steel tanks that I acquired and then clad them in oak that was actually a neighbor's oak wood flooring that he was getting rid of. One of the advantages of a building in the in this small space and building it all you know from the ground up is that it kept the cost down and my idea was that I wanted to test the product. I wasn't really sure how it would be received. The feedback so far has been amazing. We have a lot of different names for breweries based on uh, their size. Nano Brewery is something that's widely accepted as four barrel brew system or smaller. It may be five barrels, it may be three barrels or one barrel, but the nano breweries are brewing on an extremely small scale and usually their beer is not distributed very far because they don't have a lot of it. On September 12, 2012 was when I got the last of all of my paperwork clear with uh, New York State Liquor Authority, and that was the last step of um, the licensing process. My distribution has been limited to Queens, uh, Brooklyn, Lower Manhattan, and one account out on Long Island. The brewery, I feel, is pushing me towards something bigger. I'm not pushing the brewery, I feel that it's pushing me, and so I just have to do it. Real estate is one of the biggest obstacles you have in the city, and that's why I think you're gonna see a lot more nanos in New York City because it's something you can put in a corner in a basement somewhere and supplement your, your normal business with some interesting craft product you make yourself. Um, to do a microbrewery, you have to find the right real estate. My partner and I, Ethan, started brewing four years ago. So we just started by you know, getting a small five-gallon kid and trying it out in our, our backyard in our basement. and. We got our license to sell beer in uh, the spring of 2012. The transition from nanobrewery to microbrewery happened after we had spent a year and a half selling beer at our location, and we could prove to the banks that we were worthy of taking a loan. We got a loan for $350,000, and uh, we bought a five-barrel system, which put us just barely into the microbrewery category. I started coming here when they were in the corner, in the front. <laughs> so it's pretty, it's been pretty cool coming to see the progression and you know, they got new tanks or now they have the stuff here that they pour out. So it's, it's just been pretty cool watching all that progress. So this is a nitro cream ale and it's very smooth and delicious and it's very amazing. Awesome. Because New York got such a late start in really the, the big push in craft beer. I think we're gonna see a great explosion in New York City over the next decade. And I don't see any reason there shouldn't be 50 breweries in New York City. The challenges of making beer on the scale are endless. We've made very little profit off of this. Everybody said that at two barrels you're gonna make very little profit. That's true, we just barely broke even. We now, at five barrels, we see the potential to make a decent profit. Why is it worth doing? Because that's what we love doing, you know, making a, making a really delicious product that you can sell to people and they can enjoy it and they can feel the love that you put into it. When you really break it down of how much time you're putting into it to how much that you get per batch, it's really not a great system. But I think nano brewers, they're doing this for, for other reasons. If something goes wrong, I, I'm the guy that's in there fixing it. There's a certain pride that comes from that and I would say probably a lot of small entrepreneurs in general feel the same way about what, they've, what they're putting out on their own.
app works to show people if their purchasing is supporting Democrats or Republicans. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So why don't we just pick something out of your bag and see who's funding what?